Hello and welcome to another episode of the On Deck Circle, presented to you by FantasyOnDeck.com, where we do the research so you don't have to. I'm Frank Stanfield. I'm Michael Florio. And this week we saw a lot of star players take big hits. None harder than Zach Greinke's collarbone. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! And we have replacement options for you. Looking back on the week, Look back at it! Wow. Look back at it! We saw a surplus of starting pitchers get hurt and make a pit stop in DL land. Those pitchers are Jared Weaver, Zach Greinke, and Johnny Cueto. The first thing you can do is run to your waiver wire and pick up the options that will be replacing them, such as Chris Capuano, Ted Lilly, and Tony Singrani. Who do you like best out of those guys, Mike? Tony Singrani, he's looked great in the minor leagues. I would pick him up with the first of these three. Chris Capuano will get the first shot to replace Greinke in the Dodgers rotation, but if he doesn't do well, Ted Lilly is almost fully healthy and ready to go. Another guy I really like is Irvin Santana, who is only owned in 62% of CBS leagues. He's gone eight innings in his last two starts, and 24 innings this year, he's only allowed six earned runs while striking out 24 and only walking five. He's going back to the form two years ago when the Angels, when he was a viable fantasy option. Is there anybody you like? Yes, I like Colorado Rockies starting pitcher, Hulis Chassin, who had the potential the last couple of years, but now we're finally seeing him like, you know, put it together and he's pitching like somewhat like an ace. I guess you could say he's like the number one starter for that rotation, but in 18.1 innings pitched this year, he has two quality starts. He should have had the quality start um, the other day as well, but he just didn't go the whole six innings. He only gave up two earned runs though. He's sporting a 1.96 ERA and has 11 strikeouts and only five walks in that time. And another guy that we saw go down this week for that's going to be out a pretty long time is Jose Reyes. The shortstop for the Toronto Blue Jays who came over in that big deal in the offseason. Uh, we have some options here that you could maybe pick up uh, to replace him in the meantime, though. Who do you like, Mike? I like Brandon Crawford. He's only owned in 23% of CBS leagues. He's probably not going to be a guy you hold on to all year, but he's hot right now. He's on a hitting streak. He even hit a home run this week, and he has five RBI in the year. If you need you know, average or on base percentage, he's your guy. How about you? Uh, Zach Cozart has put together some nice power numbers so far for the Cincinnati Reds. I mean, his batting average is only 175, so if you're playing in a roto league, he might bring you down in that category. But he already has three home runs and six RBIs, so he's showing some power potential. The Reyes injury, though, will may affect eligibility as the, they may play Brett Lowry at second and Jose Batista at third. So... Keep an eye on that. Yes. Uh, the, the final source app that we like is Marwin Gonzalez. What, what do you know about Marwin Gonzalez, Mike? He's young. He's only owned in 15% of CBS leagues, but he's batting 333 on the year with two home runs and five RBI. Ugly lineup, but he's producing as of now. You can take a flyer. Yes. And the final name that uh, landed on the DL this week was Joanna Cespedes. As a result, we'll probably see Seth Smith and Chris Young earn more playing time. And... That Oakland A's lineup is hitting really well right now, so you might want to look into one of those options. But um, here is Philip Watson with your Fantasy Shames of the Week. And finally, the Bip has come back to Fantasy On Deck headquarters with your Fantasy Shames of the Week. First, we have Joel Hanrahan. Need I say more? He had an awful week. We have Ricky Weeks who went 1 for 20 and he struck out 11 times. Safe to say, he had a bad week. We, we have a sombrero alert this week. Jose Batista struck out four times in one game, giving you a golden sombrero. Good job. In the shortest outing of Josh Johnson's career, he got destroyed in less than two innings. I give a special shout out to Andy Dirks, the jerk who is the only lone batter who struck out against Josh Johnson in this incredible outing that he had. We also have our fantasy shame of the week, Jared Parker. Had a double start, went negative 18.5 in regular scoring leagues in CBS. That is awful. 
Well, thanks, Bip. Before we close it out, we are here to answer some of our Twitter followers' questions for the week. At the Big Fan Six asks, head to head, who to start? Mark Reynolds, Chris Carter, Yonder Alonso for his utility spot. Mike, what do you think? I'd go Mark Reynolds. He's killing the ball right now. He has five home runs on the year. He's in a better lineup than any of these guys. If I had to pick a second option, it'd be Chris Carter because he's hot right now. How about you? Uh, yeah, I'd have to agree with Mark Reynolds. He leads the Cleveland Indians in home runs and RBIs to this point in the year. And he looks like he's dating back to that player we knew a couple of years ago on the Diamondbacks. He even like He's stolen a few bases so far as well. So I think he's a really good option for now. And at Wilbur Tennis asks, Michael Young or Jason Wirth? I don't know if this is to just start or pick up, but I, I personally like Jason Wirth more. He's in a, I think he's in a better lineup, and he really he has that interesting um, power speed potential that you always like to see in a player. What do you like? I agree on Wirth. I think Young is just in a hot streak right now. I don't see him continuing his production all year. I think Wirth is overall the better player. That's who I'd rather have. But as usual, make sure to follow us on Twitter at Fantasy on Deck. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure to register on the site. It's been real. Stay classy, fantasy owners.